So week three yeah. of uh, isolation, Matt. How's it going in your little studio? Do you remember when we thought it would be two weeks? <laughs> and now it's... And now, well, are we in our third? Are we in the third? We're Is in, that a, the word? in our third week and it's definitely until the 24th of April for sure. And then longer probably. I, I, yeah, I mean, like, I think we said it last week, but I can't see it happening. I can't see it ending anytime soon. No. Is it over yet? It's podcast time. Yeah. What uh, are we going to do? Uh, well, I figured, right, we're all, we're all on our computers, on our, my screen time on my phone has gone up a ridiculous amount. So we're all spending loads of time on social media, uh, checking yeah. stuff out. So why don't we go and have a look for the sort of, the clips people are doing, so like fun stuff on social media, but not so much pros because we've kind of done that. More people who are maybe in the industry or who are like, not, not to say working or just involved in it, what they're up yeah. to. The stuff that makes us laugh, you know what I mean? So basically the best of the best of the web. Yeah, best of the web. Oh, that's the title. <laughs> uh, and then I, I was thinking, we, we talked about this before, but I was thinking we do like three climbing oriented ones and then one you can just go... Uh, you can go freestyle. Ooh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah I like that. I so like, like that. So, your, right. your funnest, like, non-climbing thing. Yeah, I can do that very easily. <laughs> and then also, maybe just chuck one in the bag, be like, uh, maybe, like, some, somebody that you found, like, it can be included in that lot, but somebody that you found that you now follow, that okay. you, like, you're really into. Can, like, can it, can your, a, your, anything, right? It doesn't have to be anything outside of climbing. Uh, it... That one can be that one can be one of the four basically. So I think like one of those four, you need to be like I can I I, f I found him since uh, uh, I'm uh, in in mid Corona. I found him. MC, I found him, and now MC. I follow him, and I'm a big fan. That sounds does that good. Make, does, that, does that make sense? Yeah, makes perfect sense. All right, uh, an okay. hour. Yeah, let's do an hour. All right, see you in an hour. Good luck. All right, see ya. Cheers. Bye. One hour later. I have got a real problem at the moment, which is uh, which is my second pot of coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm, I'm, on a, I'm on like two pots of coffee a day at the moment. Um, <laughs> I say a day, I'm two pots of coffee a morning at the moment. How big are the pots of coffee? Like pro proper big, yeah, I'll show you. Uh, like, like a big pot of coffee. Ooh, that is, that's impressive. Yeah. So you're buzzing yeah, right now. Are you buzzing right now or you just, you just need it? Are you addicted? You're more addicted I, than normal? I'm, I, I am addicted to it, but I am buzzing. So, there so you go. Was, Let's make this speedy. <laughs> Let's try and get this gun. Okay, so yeah. the, the idea today is we're going to like basically find the best of the web. What, what we found is like inspired us and all that, mm. all that stuff. Uh, and mm -hmm. people that are kind of putting out cool content um, yeah. at times when we need cool content. Yes, we do. Um, do you want, oh, uh, there is there is some news though. There's a bit, a little bit of IFSC news that we wanted to update the guys with. Do you want to do that yeah. real quick? Yeah, sure. So I, I got a, an email today from the IFSC, their press release thing they send out to media people. So it, it's still very up in the air, but basically yeah. there's going to be no IFSC comps until the 30th of June okay. 2020. Okay, So everything pre-30th of June has been cancelled, gone, that doesn't exist anymore. They're then okay. going to reassess, but they, they've put this thing in place where they're going, to, um, they're going to reassess it, but they're going to allow athletes time, and I think it's 60 days space. So if a comp falls within that 60 day thing and it still looks shaky, they're likely to cancel it, but that's the idea. So they're not going to try to sort of spring stuff on athletes and teams so, you know, the week before, they're not going to suddenly be like, okay, everyone's competing in Russia, let's go now. You know, they're going to give some athletes some breathing time. But 30th of June, nothing before then. Okay. All right. Nice. Good. Good. Uh, okay. Any other, no any other news or should we just crack that's, on? That's kind of it. <laughs> what's, okay. your, uh, what's your social media, your first one? Okay, I'll, go, I'll kick off. Okay, so number one, I've gone for uh, Mr. Neil Gresham. Uh, now, I kind of followed Neil before, but Neil at, at this time has kind of like uh, weighed in on, <clears throat> excuse me, on like the, um, the training kind of aspect and people kind of like uh, going for it these days in like the kind of the, the, the lockdown essentially. Mm -hmm. um, and he kind of held back a little bit on like kind of releasing anything, but he's now kind of releasing some really cool videos about just kind of how to do it, how to get started, kind of the basics, but just like really useful stuff. Like uh, one really good uh, video he's made is like how to hang. And I think a lot of people, like me and you have spoken about this before, is like, you see people like hanging with really straight arms. Uh, mm -hmm. And they're like, they're, they're things that, they're, they're heads forward like this. Whereas actually what he says is you've got to, you've got to hang with a bit of, bit, of, bit of bend in your arm, like a little bit of bend and yeah. uh, the, the head back a bit. So you, you, all your strain's not on here. You've got a bit more kind of 
like you're using these kind of muscles as well type thing. So a little kind of tips like that, I think are really useful and, and how to structure your kind of training. Don't just mm -hmm. go like full into it. And then also the genius that he is, he, uh, well, we didn't know, in fact, we didn't know that he was a comedic genius, but he <laughs> released like, I, he pretty much won April Fools with this amazing, uh, like kind of almost like Halloween video. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, we, we, he was coming out of a coffin, wasn't he? Dressed as sort of a Dracula vampire thing. Yeah, I like, and there's a lot of other, the big brands came out, like BD came out with something, and then Rock and Ice with some really good ones. There's actually, there's a whole article that we put together, that you put together, that we'll mm. link in the description below. But I think he won. Like, I think he won April Fool's last, this year. I think he did, just because of the unexpectedness of it, I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So my first one uh, is, I guess, a fail video, uh, but it's an amazing fail video, which is Molly Thompson-Smith, so GB climber, super strong. And she, she does this thing, which when I say it, it sounds, it sounds obvious that this is gonna go wrong, right? But she dinos from the ground to a pull-up bar that's kind of hooked over her door, back to the ground, back to the pull-up bar, and then just the pull-up bar just gives up the ghost, <laughs> falls off, she falls down. She's all right, she's absolutely fine. But uh, ah, it made me laugh so much just because I think we, we keep seeing these shiny videos of pros just being like, you know, climbing chimneys and stuff or like up buildings and then Molly just absolutely bins it on Instagram uh, and it, it, it sort of brought the humanity back into it a bit and I love that. I love the fact she shared that moment uh, and yeah, that made me smile. Um, yeah, no, I, I like the way that, uh, I like the way, I'm, it's fair play for putting it up because mm. a lot of people would be like, no way am I putting it up? Um, and I just like her reaction because she just like, you're, you don't like laugh at yourself when you fall over by yourself. You just like kind of yeah. you lie there. You're like, what's just happened? What? Um, and then you yeah. like try to go through your head what the best. Because she's filming herself as well. I don't know. It's, it is very funny. It is very good. It is good. Yeah, that was, that was my favorite. Uh, number two for you. Uh, my number two is, I'm just going to bring him up here. Sorry. It's Beta Climbers. Now, Beta Climbers is this um, YouTube channel that I kind of got onto because I started watching this video. It basically has this, like, he lives in this house, this three-story house, and it's this really mm -hmm. cool, like, um, video where he goes, goes through his whole house and it's, it, it just shows all the different ways that he has, like, made, like, climbing apparatus on his house. So, like... His stairs, as he goes up his stairs, there's like a campus board which he can go all the way up on, on the stairs and he mm -hmm. kind of, he like, he, he um, ties himself into this kind of pulley system, goes up the three fours, and then he's got like a crack system which goes up the outside of his house, which he kind of goes up the yeah. outside of his house. So I like watched that video, I was like, that's amazing, that's really cool, and that's like super inspiring. But then the other thing, what else is really cool about his, his video is that he's, he, he just, he's producing like videos every week. Um, and really, really cool videos as well. So like gear videos, like how-to videos, like training tips, uh, like ropes, kind of like what we're doing. <laughs> but, <laughs> That's to say. Uh, right? But kind of like, just like once a week is like just one guy kind of thing doing it. But anyway, this video, mm. I'll link in the description, is super cool. Um, if anybody is inspired to kind of like make something at their house, this guy is, is one guy to watch for sure. He's created a, pl a playground, is what you're saying. Like yeah, a, like a tumble tots thing. Oh, it's like looks like a lot of fun. L looks like if you know you're gonna muck around in your house. I, I often wonder though, like you know, when you when you do something like that, do you get like bored after like doing it for the you know for the umpteenth time, whatever? Because like mm. actually, surely what you want to do is you want to go somewhere and just have everything there. <clears throat> if you've got everything around your like house, but then the fact is you've got like it's good length, like it's good sustainability, it's good endurance kind of thing, rather yeah. than just having to be stuck in this little hole. You're actually like you're moving around your house kind of thing. Um, yeah, but it's cool, and like, there's loads of kind of like the safety equipment is really cool. Like he's got everything kind of rigged up to kind of go with it. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, it's super cool. I check him out. Beta oh. beta be be climbing. Yeah. All I've got in my head as you say this is like, you know those like hamster cages, you know the deluxe hamster cages you get? Yeah. With like lots of tunnels and, and uh, like wheels and stuff in it. It sounds like a giant hamster cage for the guy. <laughs> it, 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 it's kind of like that, but it's kind of like it, th this, this, this three story thing is, is, so like if he's got, it's quite steep stairs and then you should just watch the video, but like on, on the back of every, uh, where, where you, like where your back is normally when you're walking, he's just attached yeah. a campus board and he just like goes up, it goes up it and then transfers to the next one, goes up, it goes up it, transfers to the next one. It's, it's pretty cool. Amazing, man, yeah. nice. Um, my next one is sort of a semi-serious one. Uh, so you know the Dab Rats, right? We've been working with them in Frasassi. Sure. Uh, we did that building thing. Um, so they are sort of climbing vloggers. And I just wanted to shout out Dai, uh, Instagram handle Life of Dai, um, because, okay, so I've been, I've been diversifying my training 
because I have to. Uh, and I'd be doing yoga. And this is, this is the first time that I've ever, ever done yoga before. Uh, and I'm really enjoying it. But she's running, she's a yoga instructor and she's running sort of yoga for climbers through the Yonder studio. You know, Yonder, that climbing gym yeah. in London. Yeah, totally. Yeah, so they're doing like an online thing. So you can sign up via Yonder website. It's not expensive. I think it's like... I think it might be a fiver um, and you can sign up you do an hour-long yoga class with her she's the instructor um, and it was really nice because it, this was the first time that I have done a new sport in a very long time do you know yeah. what I mean like I I ski I climb I mountain bike that's about it I run you know that but this is the first time that I've tried something new yeah uh, for sure and she's a really good teacher and I think it's I think it's important to say this because there's obviously a lot of people who work in the industry who are struggling with jobs. You know, if you're a root setter, then you know, your, your job's gone. Um, and same with her being a yoga instructor. And it's lovely to see people sort of diversifying the way they can make money and also communicate with people. So shout out to Di, awesome. And thank you for having me as a complete noob on your class the other day. Uh, she was very sweet nice <laughs> to one. me. Good stuff. Yeah. I think that just quickly just say we've got like we've got a playlist on the YouTube, uh, on our Epic TV YouTube channel, which you should subscribe mm -hmm. to, which is Yoga for Climbers. It's just like, below the, the, the most recent uploads. And that's like six kind of five, no, 10 minute sessions, like follow along sessions, which uh, which I've tried actually, which are really good. Really, really cool okay. for flexibility. Um, so obviously Life of Die is really good, but then if you want to try one that we've done, Epic TV, go and check out the Epic oh, TV absolutely. YouTube channel. Well, the, the thing with yoga is I, I get a bit bored, so I like to swap around. Yeah. Uh, and you know, it's nice to try different stuff with different people because suddenly you go, oh, that works for me. Or like, oh, that bit bends me better than that. I, I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, the Epic TV one is very good. Yeah, it's, it's good. Totally, totally. Uh, and it's hard as well, I was just gonna say. Like, people, is it? Ooh, well, hard. like, I, I, often people think, people think that like, yoga is just like a little bit stretchy, stretchy, but actually mm. it's, pretty hardcore some of it when you get in those positions you just like have to hold it and all of a sudden you're using a muscle that you haven't used in like 15 years you know yeah yeah all my muscles <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly uh okay um, next one i've got what have i got what have i got what have i got right so basically we have recently embedded a video on epictv.com and it is a film called nowhere here nowhere nowhere the now the gnarly one yeah it's nowhere yeah. nowhere now here uh, and it's a film by a filmmaker called Alvi Parka, Pakarinen, um, mm -hmm. who I actually met on my first time going to Living Legends. He was one of the, he was like filming the official Living Legends video back in 2013, maybe. Um, mm -hmm. And he's created this like this film that he that wasn't that was on Vimeo Pay for until a couple of days ago, and then he's put it on uh, like free to view kind of thing, and he shared it on Facebook. And I, I, I happened to be friends with him on Facebook, so I went through and clicked through and I watched it. And I just like I watched this climbing film like no other climbing film I've ever watched. For starters, it's beautifully shot, but that's not what it is. It's like it's there's no like interviews. It's just like essentially just following Nally around, but it's it's so cleverly done. And the 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 genius of it is the soundscape. So if you watch it with a big pair of headphones, you kind of have to because like he's obviously just spent an age like making sure the soundscape is perfect. Like. There's these beautiful shots between, like through like uh, glass, like long lens shots of like Nali kind of like brushing his teeth in a stream. And you like hear, <laughs> you hear it perfectly like Nali brushing his teeth, but it's not like he's got a clip mic on. You hear like uh, the way the river kind of comes in suddenly and then, and then as he spits it out and stuff like that. And it's all been done post, I think. I'm pretty sure it has. Um, so it's an incredible achievement and it's well worth watching just because it's mesmeric and it's because it's just in this beautiful landscape these beautiful sounds that you're hearing and you're uh it kind of just it transports you there it's really mm. it's a special special movie I, I highly recommend it and it's basically linked in it's on the epic tv homepage at the moment um yeah but you've got to watch it with a big pair of headphones it's just it's magical <laughs> yeah I, I totally agree with you it's amazing and um one thing i found interesting is that gnarly is like you know, arguably the best boulder in the world. Yeah. And yet he's someone who you don't really know that much about. Like he's not really that prevalent on stuff. He's not in that many movies. And this was so personal. And I think what you were saying about the, the sound is true because he really let someone really get into his life. And it's a look at a climber you don't know a lot about, you know? That's yeah. what I loved about it. No, totally, awesome. totally. I'm, I'm a big fan. Nice. Uh, my next one is Rory Southworth. Uh, and yes. he is, <laughs> Rory Southworth, he has done this challenge where he's trying to, Using his house, 
he's walking to Everest Base Camp with a team. So he's worked out the amount of steps that he needs to do to get from, I can't remember exactly where he's starting it from, but basically to get to Everest Base Camp up the stairs. So he's doing like, you know, five days worth of climbing up and down his stairs. He's walking up and down his stairs and he's got a team doing it with him. Um, and the, the reason I thought this was so amazing, right, is that I've, I've walked to Everest Base Camp. I've done that, okay? And it was so savage. But the only thing that made it not so savage was the beautiful landscape all around you. So the idea of walking, <laughs> walking up to Everest Base Camp totally. in your like, your stairwell of your house, uh, that's some serious dedication going on there. Uh, it's awesome. And there's a YouTube video. There's a little article Teresa put together on um, epictv.com, so you can check that out, link below all that. Um, but yeah, I just admire his single-mindedness, or the team's single-mindedness to commit to doing something like that, because yeah. the boredom threshold has got to be high. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. I, I found out about it through uh, Jilly MacArthur, who I follow on Instagram. Okay. And uh, she started doing it, and then I kind of linked through to Rory Southall's page. Um, and... Just, but then there's like a whole like network of them who have done it uh, in yeah. different kind of ways. Like some people have done it inside their house. Other people have literally just set, set up one step and they just go up and down one step uh, up to the oh, Everest Base Camp, which is like insane. People like had to do it with like babies kind of crawling around and stuff like that. So yeah, a lot of dedication. They must have really annoyed their partners, I would say. Ah. Uh. Well, that, that's what I can imagine. Like, like me, you know, I haven't got a lot of family around me right now to annoy. You could have done you imagine it. You yeah, I could have done it. But can you imagine you trying to walk to Everest Base Camp and explaining to your wife and kids why dad is in the stairs for, for three hours a day? Like, more so. I think it was, like, uh, more than that. They, like, did, like, a morning session and an afternoon session. I just... Yeah, I, it's like, crazy. Yeah, I've got, I've got a lot of respect, but, I mean, I don't know how the hell they did it. Amazing. No, exactly. Um, okay, so then, but, so, like, I'm moving on to the fourth one. We said that we'd do, like three climbing ones and one non-climbing one, right? Yes, yes. Okay, my non-climbing one uh, is, it's kind of like twofold. So basically, uh, I've kind of like got a little bit into TikTok recently. Um, mm -hmm. Not personally doing it, by kind of like just like watching people's Strong. videos. They're funny. Um, but then there's one guy who I kind of followed before uh, and he's kind of associated with climbing and he kind of, he's actually presented a couple of Climbing Daily episodes before. He's called Peter Neen. Um, mm. And he's very funny, uh, and he just does like kind of like little skits on Instagram. Hello, and welcome to this review of the new Vauxhall Astra. Now, like a lot of modern cars, the Astra has been fitted with one of these a steering wheel. This allows you to go left and right at will. But what I didn't realize is he has like five, six hundred followers on, on Instagram. One day I saw that, you know, how sometimes people share their TikTok videos on Instagram. And you see mm. that little TikTok sign in the in the bottom right hand corner. So I was like, he yeah. he shared a TikTok video, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna have a look on TikTok and see how many followers he's got. He's got like thirty thousand followers on TikTok. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, and it's just him like putting up videos of him playing like funny songs, uh, like doing little skits. Um, so yeah, so it, it, he's a he's a he's a funny guy. He's kind of associated with climbing. He shoots actually the Wide Boys vlogs. Um, mm. But uh, I've known him for quite a while. He used to do like Crimpington Bear. Do you remember Crimpington Bear? We've mentioned that like recently, I think, for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so he's like one of the original, I guess you could say he's one of the original like climbing vloggers. Like, mm -hmm. like he's, he started back in 2013, 2012, I think. Anyway, I recommend watching him. He's very funny uh, if you need like something to giggle at uh, to keep your spirits up in the lockdown. Nice. And he also shot the Climbing Daily we put up the other day, the Crack School, the Crack Fest one. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a talented so he guy. Shot that. A multi talented guy. Yeah, it's good. Awesome, Peter. Um, okay, so my non climbing one is uh, bear with me on this. So I am obsessed with Formula One. Okay. okay? Yeah. Like, obsessed with it. It's something to do with the stats, how much you can read. And obviously, the Formula One season, as with everything, has been sort of cancelled, right? Yeah. For the time being. So they're doing, they're doing this thing where it's like they're doing the races, but they're doing it in esports. So you get all these races, like, you know, like old school races like Jensen Button, people like that, racing people like Alex Albon, who's like a new school. They're doing this whole like formula, like online series on a computer game yeah. of them racing. Yeah, yeah. Now, the reason that this fascinated me is I also spent 15 minutes watching it the other day. I was literally watching a computer game. It's one of those. But, um, but, there is a climbing computer game. Do you remember when we, I was at Adidas Rockstars yeah. and there was that virtual reality computer game? Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I figured, like, you know, we can't climb at the moment. Why is the world of climbing not branching into the world of computer games? 
Because we could do, like, you know, we could, we could, someone needs to set up a virtual crag, everyone turns up, yeah, maybe you say use, everyone turns up, someone's b leg you know, with their Grigri, -gri, virtual reality style. Someone climbs something super hard, you know, th that there is a, there's amazing. an opportunity here for a game developer to come along and take advantage. Yeah, because um, I've been like, I've been playing like uh, golf with my friends. So like, we all just sit around on the Zoom <laughs> and we just like sit there on our phones playing golf, uh, <laughs> which is great. But like, it would be fun to like, have like a communal, like a uh, climbing game for sure. I don't know if they, yeah, exactly. is there one? I can't, like, surely there's not one. That one that we saw at Adidas well, Rockstars was, was like a beta version, wasn't it? Well, <clears> it's <throat> a proper game, but you can, um, you can actually, you can buy it, but I think it might die to death a couple of years ago. But, yeah. uh, it, you know, I just, I think there's a potential here and who knows how long, you know, we could be in lockdown for years. So, you know, someone needs to come up with it. And I think we could come up with it. Maybe, you know, we're supported by a big telecommunications company. Maybe they've got an app developer and we could make a computer game. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, like, it, for me, in my head, it's quite hard to make a climbing game. Like, I don't know how it would work. <laughs> Like, no, nah, it's easy. It's easy. It's <laughs> yeah. fine. But, but like, like with golf, with golf, like you go, you control the club, bump, you hit the ball. Like ball sports, mm. I think work as computer games. Like a non-ball yeah. sport, I think surfing well, kind of works, isn't it? Then, but then how does? But how about work? this? How about you set up a, a, like a, a lattice rung or something with a sensor in it, and you're hanging off it in real life in virtual reality. So you're doing moves on your campus board setup, but with with a sort of a feeling that you're on a cliff in front of you. Yeah, okay, okay. But then you'd have to have a <laughs> lattice board. So, I mean, do you mean like a like just a fingerboard? Yeah, just a fingerboard that's just there. Like, not a lattice one, but just a general fingerboard, like Epic TV fingerboard. Okay. You hang off it, you do the moves. It, you know, I, I'll admit I haven't really thought this through, but... Um, well, like a treadball, like one of those treadwalls that Sasha Zuzulian uses, like, that could be good. Yes, but that, that would work. But then yeah, that costs like two grand to get one of them. I don't know how you get one doesn't of them. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. We'll put <laughs> yeah. it in the budget. So yeah, money, money is no object. <laughs> no object. <laughs> So that's my non one. Okay. That's it, I think. I mean, yeah, that, that, nice, there you go. Um, yeah. Like computer games, I think has definitely got a future. Yeah, I think so. I think we should, we should, we should work on that one. Um, Sweet. So shall we do comment of the week from last week? Because there was lots of lovely comments. I think we should choose one each. Can you, have, yeah. you got, have you got one? I'm gonna, I need I've to I've got find one uh, ready to go, yeah. Mine is from uh, Soldi Zihound. Uh, and it's saying, if your kids break a leg, just use climbing rope and a hangboard uh, to splint it. Um, which I thought was very funny because everyone's trying to avoid hospitals at the moment. Um, <clears throat> obviously, I'm not saying that if your kid breaks your leg, you shouldn't take him to the hospital, you know, immediately take him to the hospital. True. However, if you, if, you, if you didn't take him to the hospital, because I was thinking sort of cams, like if you lined up cams along the broken leg and then strapped the cams using climbing tape, yeah. That would also be a splint. You know, there's lots of possibilities here. So if you're at home, you're watching this and you've got sort of medical knowledge uh, more than me uh, and you're a climber, then tell us how climbing gear could be used medically, please. Uh, which I dread to say because I know what's going to happen with that one. But um, How to avoid going any... to hospital with, with climbing equipment, basically. Yes, exactly. I just, I, I'm intrigued. So that was, that was my comment. Very good. Uh, right, my one is, um, it's official. You've got to do it on Instagram Live now. I'm a keep spamming you till it happens. Who do you think wrote oh, that? Oren. 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 Yeah. Oren wrote that. We did say that we would do what the the co the COVID challenge. Yes. I've done it twice. Have you? Yeah. Did it what twice. What was your method? Well, uh, okay. So I went um, to, like basically what it comes down to with me is like how long it takes me to do the pull-ups because the pull-ups uh -huh. like take me ages. But yeah. So basically, I just do like. Uh, uh, I did like te like I basically just do the the, the squats and um, I do like a, a mix. So I do fifty squats, fifty um, stomach crunches first up, and then like twenty press ups, and then ten pull ups, and then I kind of go okay. from there. It diminishes, diminishes until I've all, all I've got is like sixty pull ups to do. So I just have to like muscle my like muscle. I have to just like break my back through yeah. through the through the pull ups. And so I got like my two times like twenty three minutes and 20 and actually then i slowed down and got 25 minutes <laughs> the second time <laughs> but That's it's um should we, should we, should we, yeah should we schedule it in then when should we do it like maybe friday yeah i reckon thursday friday well whenever we haven't got an interview because we've got a few interviews uh coming up and we know yeah tr I, i'm trying to line some up so we got we got uh, magnus last week and stefano i've sent some messages this week so i'm still waiting so yeah maybe at some point this week we'll do that uh, and then uh, obviously we're watching this on a wednesday but we've done something on tuesday uh, what we just did <laughs> Which we haven't done, if you see what I mean, is uh, bring Sally up challenge tonight on Instagram Live. We're doing it again. Yeah, we're doing it again, 4 p.m. See if we can beat our time. So what did we get? I got one minute 30 last time. 
Yeah, I was 140 and I, 1 minute 42 and I nearly died. Uh, <laughs> It's uh, yeah, so just if you guys don't know what we're talking about, just join us every day at Instagram 4 pm CET. 4 yes, 4 pm CET. Yeah, uh, mm. join us or join Matt most of the time. Magnus Mitbo was a very good interview on Friday. Yeah, he was lovely again, but lovely to chat to him. Very, very well spoken Norwegian man. Mm -hmm. Um, can we can we shout out something about the shop before we finish? Because um, yes, a yes. lot of people are sending me messages about deliveries and stuff, asking if we are still delivering. We are still delivering. We're still selling kit. There's a little bit of a, a delay on postage just because you know the the whole slight Corona situation thing. But we are still doing it. So um, please support us. Still carry on buying gear. You will get it. Give us a, a little bit of patience. But now is a good time to get gear because like my Amazon shopping wish list at the moment is ridiculous because I'm just on like surfing. Like oh, I need a new microphone. Ooh, I need to do this. haven't bought any of it, but I've got it there. So it's a good time to shop uh, and we are still selling. Uh, just quickly, if you could recommend one Epic TV video uh, from the last week, what would it be? Uh, check out yesterday's Climbing Daily, which was the uh, Blockfest finals, because it is a pretty epic finals. Um, some crazy moves, and also just the type of holds they use. And I know it's usually about the moves, but the holds in this comp are ridiculous. Like, it's giant triangular volumes, crazy weird moves. It, it, it's an epic, just pure climbing. You know, there's not a lot of chat in it. It's just, it's just a hundred percent the best of the best sending it. So if you want a bit of like comp psych, go and check that out. Is that the final? That's the finals. Yeah, that's the finals. Okay, nice Came out one. on Tuesday. Wicked. All right, I'm going to quickly recommend uh, the latest on the road on Epic TV uh, with mm -hmm. Stefano Gasolfi and Matteo Pavana. Uh, and they're talking about they're both how they kind of got into what they're doing. But it's quite interesting to hear from Matteo Pavana, who's the photographer who shoots a lot of Stefano stuff and how he kind of gets in the right kind of positions and how he does it. So it's a nice little kind of like six minute piece on, on, on how that's kind of come together. So I recommend watching that. Cool. All right, man. Thank you so much. Lovely speaking to you as always. I like to likewise. Uh, and everybody have a great week. Thanks for all the love. Thanks for all the comments uh, last week. Yeah. Keep them coming. Uh, and what, what what's our one question for the for the viewers this week? Anything that they Go like on, on yeah, tell us tell us what you like on social media. What have you found? What have you discovered? Let mm. us know in the comments. Yeah, and link it. Yeah. Link it as well so everyone can join in and see it. Nice. All right, man. Nice one. Nice. All right, here you go. See you later, mate. Bye. Have a good one.